Oh, I see. I see your comment. Oh, I told you I wasn't going to make it at three. I was like three o'clock. Oh, there's no way I'm making it. <laughs> and the minute I got off that live, it, 10 people had questions for me and then things went wrong. And then I had to deal with that. And then I was like, oh, I got to try to rhinestone something. So don't look at this because I just rhinestone this in like, there's so many gaps. <laughs> so many gaps. It's so bad, but there you go. There you go. This is the rhinestone collection for today. Did that in, there's glue everywhere. <laughs> but it's like, I gotta have something. Ah, go. And then I was like fiddling. I'm like, stop fiddling. Just. <laughs> Hi, everybody. And I have to wear my sweatshirt because what is underneath here is highly inappropriate. Like, I can't even believe I wore to the gym. I saw myself in the bathroom mirror when I was here, down here. I was like, oh, my knockers are just out of control. Hi, everybody. All right. So I know that you guys already know this because it already sold out. Did I use my glass? Girl, no, we didn't take time to find my glasses. Let's see if there's some now. Okay, there's eight designer packs. So the designer packs already sold out. So we changed up everything. And so we added 10, changed it to 10 more designer packs. So there's eight designer packs left. And the molds are all down to like five each essentially those Christmas molds, all of the different ones, all of them. Well, that one has seven, the holiday decor tree, the tree earrings are down to seven, but all the other ones are like at five. The little reindeer is sold out. The, uh, Merry Christmas, the reindeer in this one are sold out. The only way you're, they're available is now in those eight designer packs. There's five of the angel. There's three of the Santa Claus straw topper. Okay. Woo. We have sold a lot of rhinestones. Okay, there's 150 rhinestone sets left, which that sounds like a lot, but we've already sold 150 and it's only been up for 25 minutes. Hello. I wanna make this little Santa Claus straw topper. That is adorable. I am so thirsty, but if I drink too much water, I get heartburn. It's a slow sip all day. So there's a thing, a few have heard me say this, when I am pregnant, I love ice water. It's, I don't crave ice water, but just want to take a sip. I'm like, and then I just want to just chug the whole cup. You blame or M for your order today? Your browser won't let you, oh, won't open, open another tab. Just, all the things that you want ever sold out. So collection it is. I you will not be disappointed in this instant the instant transfer collection. It says half pearls and rhinestones. There's no pearls in there. Oh, Alyssa. Okay, Alyssa doesn't know the difference, and she made it. It's a, it's not supposed to be. There's no pearls in there. It's all rhinestones. Okay, I changed it. Sorry, I'm changing the listing.
sorry. It's just like nonstop. I can tell totally you guys spectacular because insanity. It's insanity. I got it, Nellie. Yeah, I went in and I changed it. It's because Alyssa, I tell you guys, Alyssa is not a crafter. Yes, stuff was already sold out. You guys are all still in spectacular mode. <laughs> Don't get it, get it! Ah! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. She doesn't know the difference. So the the white rhinestones, they're like white rhinestones. Um, and she probably saw that and thought they were pearls, my guess, but it's all rhinestones. It's just white. They're like snowflake white rhinestones. It doesn't have any pearls. It's all rhinestones. They're just white ones. But they are cut like a rhinestone. So pretty. Do you want to know something crazy? The pearls actually cost us way more than rhinestones, these rhinestones. I mean, most of, mostly it's because we're custom ordering pearls. Grabbed it and checked out. I love the pearls in the collection. So like, like this, the little silver pearls that are in there. I just, I love, I love the pearls in the collection. This, I love this. I know this is a definite style taste that you have to like. I love the big random pearls on it. It's like bling, big bling on there. Like the big pearls. They're easy to pick out if it's not your jam. Just don't put the big ones in there. But I like it. I like the big ones. I, it's a texture thing too. I love it. It still says it has pearls. I updated the listing. Where does it say it has pearls? I, th oh. Y'all, it doesn't even matter. It's going to sell out <laughs> before you guys matters. The spider gel, the spider gel is, I believe, all sold out. There's one Santa straw topper left. There's seven designer packs. There's five of the little angel ornaments. Because we only have 41 rhinestone pickers left. We had a thousand rhinestone. We had a thousand rhinestone pickers when we started Spectacular. Christy, don't worry, girl. All right. So if you're like, what is going on? Sorry. It is collection day. So the new collection today is Holiday Hoedown. It is a country vibe Christmas. We started with this one because this is one of my favorite collections of all Christmases. It's the country collection. I mean, gee, I wonder why. Maybe it's because I have a ranch and horses that I just love. Um, and um, okay, where do we start? Okay, sorry. Designer packs. There's seven designer packs left. If you don't get a designer pack, don't stress out. Just order decal pack one, decal pack two, the other molds, set of rhinestones. You're good. Designer packs are just there so that it's like easy one-stop shop to get one of everything on this list. Okay. It's just a, it's a gorgeous collection. Thank you. All right. So the rhinestones are $21. You get a hundred grams. That's enough to do at least a 30 ounce tumbler. Okay. These are the rhinestones. This is a terrible example because I rhinestone this in like 35 seconds. I just like literally was telling myself, don't, stress out about gaps, just slam some down there. So you have them all facing the right direction. It doesn't have to be perfect. So it's kind of like a, it's like a dark, deep red, a bright red. So it's two different colored reds, dark red, a deep red, sorry, a dark, deep red and a bright red, a dark, deep green, like hunter green. And then a soft green, a champagne color, a white AB, like crystal white, and then a snowflake white. And then we have, it's called Montana. It's like, um, uh, like a bluish gray color and a hematite, which is silver, like a silver gunmetal silver on there. 
to give you that country Christmas vibe. I love the little mints and the hematite and the champagne in there because that's what adds a little Western saddle leather, like horse bit stirrups kind of colors. Love it. Oh, Emma's, Emma's neck deep in orders. I, they give me less orders because I come live with you guys and I, I pack orders live. When we pack orders live, we're much slower. Today was actually, I was not as slow as normal because, because I was really trying to focus on the order. But normally I'm just like chatting with you guys and answering questions and showing off what they got, knowing and all. But like, it's so intense in there today. It's like nobody's talking. Like everybody is just head down. It is intense. It's so Christmassy. I know. Okay, so we're going to make a tumbler. I actually snagged one of the 20 ounce straights from in the warehouse. It's like, somebody give me a 20 ounce. And I'm not allowed to pull it out of the inventory. It's like, where can I find one that's not set aside for spectacular? Because we sold out of so much stuff. I'm like, I don't want to pull one just out of one of these boxes and then screw up spectacular. So uh, uh, Christina gave me hers that she had on the desk. So in this collection, it's probably sold out now. There was one. The Santa Claus Straw Topper. So if, you, if it's sold out, which I'm assuming is, because there was one left a few seconds ago and you guys are shopping like crazy. No, there's one left, Santa Claus Straw Topper. Um, if you want all the molds, you can still get it in the designer pack. There's six designer packs left. You trying to get me on a big TV? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you 30 seconds. There you go. Mary Jane, did you change your whole name on YouTube? You still, I, there's one left. I can see it. I, I can see inventory on this backside. <laughs> uh, this is the Mad Tea Party Dark. I believe it's sold out. How's the pack going going? It's very intense, Mary. Nobody's talking, everyone's just working. This is the week. That's why, um, like with Jessica, she's like, I'm so excited to be there. I'm like, girl, it's, it's intense. Cause usually we're like chit chatty in there a little bit and just having fun and having, you know, talking to each other. It's nobody's everyone's headphones down working, listening to music. Oh, you have two different accounts. Well, that's how well I know you girl. <laughs> um, this is mad tea party dark. I believe it is currently sold out. I think he's, I, I'm pretty sure that one's sold out on Spectacular. Most of our rhinestones sold out in Spectacular. There's a few left, but all right, here we go. Decal pack one and two. So for this Christmas pack, we what we do is we do the designer pack, which is literally all of the things. You get one of every single mold, one of every single instant transfer, one of every single instant transfer wrap, um, and any and one set of rhinestones. Okay, that's the designer pack. But you can buy, we also sell the rhinestones available individually. They're $21. You get enough to do at least a 30 ounce tumbler. It's um, uh, 100 grams of mixed sized rhinestones. So you're going to get the big ones down to the little ones. I think, believe it's SS10 to SS20 or SS6, I think, are the teeny tiniest ones. It's hard to see the teeny tiniest ones on camera in here. They're, they're these little microscopic ones. They fit in the little tiny gaps, right? So it's got the little bitty ones on down to the SS20s, which is the larger one on here, like this size. Okay, so you, it's it's called, um, when you do it this method, it's called scatter method, which is right now, it's kind of what we've been doing the rhinestones on. We're just dabbling into rhinestones by design where you would use a pattern in a certain size. Um, the scatter method is where you just kind of push them all together and fill in all the gaps with each other and do the tumbler. For example, like this is done scatter method. Okay, you just kind of put them on and put them up next to each other. The only difference in what it throws me off, Mary Jane, is that your hair color is different in your two pictures. Um, okay, so um, we're going to do an instant transfer tumbler today because I, I like showing you guys how versatile instant transfers are. So if you are in a bind, if you're in a bind, How come we don't have so Brandy? You, uh, Brandy, we just had Spooktacular last week. 
Um, and we sold out of a ton of inventory of stuff because we had our big giant sale. It ended last night at 6 p.m. Um, and so all the, the, the UV resin hard cure sold out in like four minutes when it went up on sale. Yeah, it's, it'll be back in stock. It's just going to take it a minute. That one caught us completely off guard. Um, all right, so this is decal pack number one, okay? I'm trying to decide what I'm going to make with my tumbler. This is kind of like a soft mint green. Hi, Sandy. And it's got the little snowflakes. As somebody pointed out, it looks like little tree branches, and it is. It looks like little noble pine tree branches or Douglas fir tree branches or something to make the little snowflakes. And his matching decal says happy holiday and it's the southwestern like countryside scene with the little snow with the little in the ornament with the christmas christmas lights you keep saying you're not going to order anything else i know this one's really hard i and you all I, but i'm so i got we got to jump right in because we got to start doing christmas it's so crazy as crafters and business owners in the craft world you have to be a, a holiday head so we started doing Halloween in like June, end of June, July. Cause I'm like, you got to get geared up because Halloween is a, a whopper. And if you aren't ready for Halloween, you miss all the Halloween sales. And so we start doing Halloween fall, all that stuff in June. Okay. Now we're in October, which we should be like, Oh, Halloween. And, and we still are, we're still going to be having, I still got Halloween tumblers everywhere. And we're still working on them, but we are now as a craft community focusing on Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, all the other holidays, in the next chunk, right? So today is our Christmas day. All right. So, oh, is it sold out? Deb, I will put mine in your order. I'll make sure if this is an extra one, Deb, I'll make sure. But if this is an extra one, you can have mine. I'm writing it down. I'm, I'm I want to say I'm, I'm doing your order tomorrow, Deb. She told me which day and I, I can't remember. It's either tomorrow or Wednesday. Santa Topper. Because he sold out, which means I don't get to do one on camera. So if he's an extra, I will send you mine. If, but he might not be an extra. This might be one of those ones. Don't use it. <laughs> Pretty sure it's an extra. Because she needs one for photographing and stuff. I wrote it down. So that doesn't mean I'll remember Deb, but I will give it a darn wing ding and try. Okay. So, sorry, decal pack number one. Okay, this is going to be the snowflake. Wait, did you not, did you already get it? Well, if you buy the designer pack, there's three designer packs left, Deb. You can just get a designer pack and he'll be in there. Oh, you got two design packs. Oh, girls, then you're going to get two of them. You're so funny. No, I got two packs. <laughs> You're going to get two of them. All right. So you, this is your decal pack one. It's going to be this like mint green with the little snowflakes that are made out of Christmas tree branches and the happy holiday instant transfer. These are both instant transfers. If you don't know how instant transfers work, hang on through all this boring stuff. I'm going to show you how we're going to, we're going to wrap one. We're going to do one, a whole tumbler. All right. The instant transfer wrap number two, you apply these just like you would a vinyl, a sheet of vinyl but it's an instant transfer. So it doesn't have to be epoxied over. And on, with this one, you're going to get little two little mini instant transfers. Okay. These can go on the butt of your tumblers, wrap them on pens. You can put them on wine glasses. You can put them as cute little something. Just they're two little mini instant transfers. This one, I love this one, uh, black and red plaid with the snowflakes and Santa Claus country western santa claus i just we're gonna save this because that's definitely going on in my cup Alyssa is hate santa so like, that's like my least favorite one I'm like, it's like my most favorite if you are if you are doing instant transfers you still want to sand your tumblers because of the coating that the manufacturers put on the outside of the stainless steel you want to sand that off you want to buff it off The pack is the vinyls and instant transfers. The bundle is everything. I I know. And they're all instant transfers. So 
Um, if you're not super great at water slides, this is going to be your jam. These are, you literally peel, stick, rub, and, and remove. So it has its own transfer carrier sheet. And you plop it down, rub it down, and peel it away. And the sticker stays. It's basically like a sticker. It's called an instant transfer. But this is super, super, super permanent. You just can't put it in a dishwasher or soak it in hot water. But other than that, it's, it's, it's a permanent bond. You can use away. All right. Uh, last sheet of um, wrap. This is your last, this is the wrap. It's going to be red and green Christmas plaid with snowflakes and this fun instant transfer with all the holiday country, country Santa, the holiday hoedown Santas with the gingerbreads and the little frappuccinos, but all with the little country fried. These are all instant transfers. All right. So that's decal pack number one. You're getting four full vinyl wraps. And one, two, three full instant transfers and two nugget instant transfers. Two little mini instant transfers. All right, that's decal pack one. I got to put these back together. Otherwise, I'm going to get confused. You can buy decal pack one or you can buy decal pack two. The instant transfers are not available individually yet or at this time. Most likely, they're going to sell out. We don't bring back any holiday stuff. So if it sells out, it, it won't come back. This is it. And we're, we sell our we sell our collections in bundles, so throughout the week you'll have we'll ha launch like one onesie twosie different instant transfers. But when it's a collection, it's a whole pack. All right, so instant transfer full wrap number one. Like I said, this is kind of like a sweater, like a cardigan sweater texture looking, and it has the pattern on it. But the, oh, I love this the, that that actually looks like a Highland Bowl. It is a Highland Bowl, little Highland Bowl, Nikki. It's a Highland Bowl. Um, you, your boots, trees, cowboy hats. And then this is a very simple one. It says Merry Christmas. Okay. This can be used pretty much with any, any of them. Okay. Second up in decal pack two is this one. I said that this one looks like fabric. Actually, there's a little texture to this one visually too, color wise. And it almost looks like a fat fabric. Okay. And then this is the instant transfer that goes with that. I mean, you can mix and match them however you want. Cowboy boots with Santa hats and Christmas lights, super cute. Oh, I think I'm gonna put this, I'm using this one. What's going on? Um, black and white instant transfer. There's no Christmas like a country Christmas as its decal. And then you get this fun cowboy hat, horses, boots, made apple crisp. Oh. Can't do that to a pregnant lady. If you had lemon bars, you'd be in trouble. I would be on a flight and I would be coming to get a lemon bar. I love apple crisp. I make the best crispy part on top. Cowboy Christmas. Okay. So those are the instant transfers and vinyl wraps for this one, or instant transfer wraps and decal wrap and oh, instant transfer full wraps and individual instant transfer decals. Yes, I'm hot. I have to leave the sweatshirt on. Yes, Karen. Apple crisp is with a crumble. Yes. Yes, it's with a crumble. <laughs> okay, so let's make my tumbler. We're gonna make one. I'm gonna I'm gonna picky choosy. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna put this tra instant transfer on. I'm gonna also use this instant transfer because these are my two two faves. I'm gonna be using this instant transfer wrap. The red and green plaid is your favorite. The black and red is mine. I literally have a purse in this. I have jammies in this. My kids' jammies for Christmas are in this. Oh, Deb, now after Spooktacular, after Spooktacular, Deb, we do not care how many orders you put in. It's a little bit more to control. During Spooktacular, it's like a thousand orders a day and it's insanity. And so it's chaos. But our normal schedule, our normal program, we don't care how many orders you put in during the day. Yeah. I had a lot of extra butter, butter to my crumble, Deborah. A little nutmeg. All right. So we're going to do that one and then. one which one which one which one I'm trying to decide when i want because i'm probably going to keep this cup because i'm putting my two favorite decals on it
well, I don't want to put two plaids, but my two favorite are the black and white plaid and the red and white plaid. Snowflakes and snowflakes. I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to, well, for Pete's sakes. Nope, I'm doing this one. I'm going with this one on the bottom, this one on the top, and then I'm going to put my two decals on. This will be up here, and then this will be on the other side. I'm doing it. Okay, here we go. Some from decal pack one, some from decal pack two. So we're basically designer packing this one up. Let's put it on the table, see how it looks. Okay, so we're going to have on the bottom of the tumbler there, top of the tumbler here. This will be on one side and this will be on the back side. I feel like that's a good combo. This horse just reminds me of my horse. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to click on your comment. Where are we meeting up for the crumble, right? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I may have fallen asleep with like a box of those little chocolate Debbie, little Debbie um, donuts next to me in bed because Ivan's not there. So I was just having some donuts and then I just left them there on the bed, woke up to them sitting next to me. <laughs> when Ivan's away, the cat just plays. <laughs> I, to be real, I do that whether he's sitting there or not. I just don't leave it laying in his spot all night. All right. If you've not worked with tra instant transfers yet, okay, this one is sold out and this one is sold out. I'm going to assume Santa Claus straw topper is sold out. I haven't looked. Yes, yeah, Santa Claus straw topper is sold out. Okay. Woo! There's only... There's only two designer packs left, y'all. So the designer pack has the Santa Claus straw topper in it. It has the cute little super cute reindeer. Actually, somebody was saying this would be really cute to make it a little keychain. But if somebody you're giving somebody like earrings for Christmas or a little necklace, use it to like the to hold the necklace or the earrings. Christmas Christina said that. And then the little Merry Christmas ornament. Okay. These three are sold out individually. That now these three are only going to be available if you get the designer pack. Okay. I love this. This is, this is going to continue to be mine. I'm not giving this one up. This, I'm like, this can be a little, to make little mini freshies. This can be to make little keychains. Don't fill it all the way up. Just fill it like a third of the way up and make a keychain out of it. You can make ice cubes out of this. Somebody said chocolate, chocolate nuggets for sure. Me too, Mary. Um, you're going to get the little angel. She's got like five left. Let's see. She's got five left for the little angel and a little Christmas tree charms. This has like a little pirouette and a little, little pretty design in it. Almost kind of looks like swirling snow maybe. Okay. And then you get the, the instant transfers and you get the rhinestones. The rhinestones are a Christmas country Christmas colors. really use that more look at Christina's picture. She did much better. So I want to show you guys how to do the instant transfers. If you have not done a wrap, um, you get one shot with these. Um, so you want to apply them very similar to the way that I apply my vinyl onto the tumbler. You do not want to just peel the whole thing apart and then try to get it on your tumbler. Just peel away the first like half inch and make sure that you get that lined up beautifully and stuck down before you peel the back away. So then slowly peel the back away and slowly apply the, the instant transfer. If you peel the whole instant transfer away, you're dealing with 11 inches of sticky surface that if it touches your cup even briefly, it's going to go and, and stick to it and then you can't pull it off. I don't like what? It looks good on camera. Oh, does it? Well, I don't dislike it, but there's a, I did it so fast. There's a lot of gaps between them rhinestones. It looks beautiful on camera. The rhinestones do, but my rhinestoning job, because there's so many gaps, there's more like plastic showing through it, like the lid of the cup more than the rhinestones. All right. So, um, you can cut these, these actually were created with the intention of thinking that most of you are going to cut it because we didn't want to just do a blanket 20 ounce wrap 
size because that limits you to only doing a 20 ounce wrap tumbler. So we made it this big because this will wrap a 30 ounce. Do I have a 30 ounce? Oh, it has something on it. This will wrap a 30 ounce. It will wrap um, a 22 ounce. So this is like the fatty tumbler. It'll wrap the big fatties. Okay. It's gappy, kind of like my teeth. Okay, so we make this large enough to wrap around some of the bigger tumblers. So what you need to do is measure your tumbler. A, a lot of y'all got these on your orders. These were on the spectacular sale. Our little fabric tumblers, you can just loop it around. Okay, and you can figure out, oh, this is nine and, hold on. This is nine and a quarter. Okay. 9.25 around. So I can put it on my paper cutter and cut it at 9.25. Okay. And then that way I know that that's going to whoop line up and then you can, and then you can decide how many inches deep you want it. So let's go ahead and cut it. So this one doesn't have a top or bottom. It could, it could be put on the cup this way. It could be put on this cup this way. So that doesn't matter. But what I do have to pay attention to is this one. So I don't want to put this upside down on the cup. Um, Nelly, I would not do that with this particularly. It's too valuable to possibly screw that up. So I will show you guys what you want to do. You, I wouldn't wet it. I would just only peel back a little bit, do your tape line as your guide for straightness and then go from there. Oh, I need my measuring. So I want nine, nine and a quarter. Hold on. Where's my mark? Nine and a half, nine and a quarter. Okay. So I'm making these little lines on here. These are my cut cut guides. You guys, I'm, I'm terrible at straight lines. So I am terrible at straight stuff, straight. So that's why I'm like being extra curved. This is probably going to be off just FYI. Anytime I measure something, I'm always way off. That's why I don't hang up pictures if I own house. Ivan or Emily does it because it, they'll be like, does that look straight? I'm like, you know, not to ask me this question because it looks perfectly fine to me and it'll be so wonky. And they're like, does that look level? Sure. And then it's not level at all. Not a good gauge. I am not a good gauge. Okay, hold on. Nine. Don't even know. Ah! Okay. So I'm going to cut along that line. Bloop, that's my little nine, nine and a quarter mark. Hey, hey. Now, if you have one of those big long ones, it has the measurements on it for you, but these little cheapy ones that I just, they, we have the big, big ones in the warehouse. We do not have those in here. So we just have this. See, we'll see all my first lines are all in line. The one I did at the end is not in line. Oh boy. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We're zipping to do it. You want to make sure your blade is nice and sharp and fresh. Okay, now I decide how thick I want this one to be. I'm gonna go, this is my top piece. This is gonna be my top piece, so it has to be big enough to fit my Santa Claus, at least. So I need to go to at least this black. Okay, so I need to, at least on this black. Oh, farts, I lost track of which one was the one. 
Uh, you're right there. There's a little teeny tiny dot, so I don't remember which line it is. So I know I need it right at least on that line. I'm going to give myself a little squish extra. Okay, make sure it's edged properly. Looks good. Looks good. Nice and sharp. Zoom. So this this is enough to do two tumblers. This might even be enough to wrap a pen. I don't know. I haven't. I that. Mm, let me use this. One. One and. Three quarters. I might wrap a pen, a, a skinnier pen with no ink, uh, no base. Uh, oh! Which one was the right one? This one. Might wrap a pen with no uh, epoxy on it. Okay, so this is going to be our top piece. This is what we want at the top. Okay. Ooh, look how close I got it. So nice. Okay, so that's going to be our top part. So these are basically going to wrap and apply just like a sticker, like a vinyl decal, except for this is a permanent bond. So you don't have to, it's not required. You do not have to put epoxy over these. So if you do this whole tumbler in instant transfers, you're done. If you want to add glitter or extra vinyl striping tape or any little rhinestone accessories or glitters, glitter the butt or whatever, then you want epoxy over the top of it. Some people just want epoxy over the top of it just to make it more durable also, just for good measure. Um, I'm thinking about putting some like metallic striping on it. So with vinyl, so we might be adding that. Okay. So I've got this. So we now need to measure for the other piece. Okay. So if we put this one on properly straight, we now have how many inches? We now have one Sorry, we have now have three and a quarter. I'm going to do three and a quarter inches because that will then make it to where I put this just a little bit down off the lip and a little bit off the edge down here. Yeah. Okay. Three and a quarter. Okay. So we're going to go up three and a quarter. Now, you can put this on your Cricut machine and just cut it on your Cricut, Cricut, but I like to live dangerously. Three and a quarter. This one I'm getting willy-nilly. We're just dropping it and making a line, dropping it, making a line. We're not even, we're not even fid fiddly diddling at all. Okay. Put this on the three and a quarter line. This is probably gonna be the one that's off because that's what happened with the other one. Three and a quarter. Okay. Then I also know that it needs to be the same shortness. I already forgot what that number was. One. What was the number here? One and three quarters. Yeah, one and three quarters. Shorter. So we're gonna go zippity that way. Then we gotta go one and three quarters this way. Boat. One. One and one, two, three. No. One and three fourths. This one we did one and a quarter. One and three quarters. This one. One and three quarters. You're ultimately, probably gonna do the whole sheet. You don't have to. One and three quarters. You can just cut this first. Oh, let's do that. So that means we're gonna cut this first. Okay. Because then, if we cut this piece first. And I still have this long piece that could go around a bigger tumbler. Ooh, you put your vinyl on a sticky pad wrong once. Not fun. Oh, farts. Okay. 
and go right through the middle. Here we go. What? What? Hold on. Stumbling and fumbling today. Bloop. Okay. That's the extra piece. Go in here. It's always better to have an, a half of a millimeter extra than a half of a millimeter too short. Well, there's not much to see on that one, but you could use that for something else. All right, so now we got those two. We're ready to rock and roll. Now this is the fun part, this is the easy part, this is the all downhill from here. Okay, first we're gonna take this. I do have a laser light. Well, I can probably see if I can make it. I mean, it. Even with the laser light, I still struggle. I'm the worst at straight line anything. Uh oh, do I have the plug for this? Yeah. I am the absolute worst at straight line anything. So I have this little laser light cheat sheet. The last three times I've used it, I've still gotten the light wrong. Yikes! My water. Okay. So with this thing, you put your tumbler down in there. It holds it. Bloop, you turn your light on. It turns the laser on. And what you do here is you line the laser up so that the, the side lines are on the three and the three, like in the exact same spot on both sides. And that should give you your straight line going this way because it's, it's, it's an exact T on the laser. Oh, you guys can't see it because the laser is in the way. There we go. Can you, there you go. So you can see the laser line. So I can see on this little thing, you spin this. There's a little, there's a, well, there's a little toggle here that you spin like this and it turns and twists this laser light pointer. And you basically spin it until this is perfectly on the same exact spot on both sides. I'm just not good at this. Okay, so then that's gonna give you the laser red way, the, the, the stripe up and down for perfectly up and down. So then take your painter tape. I'm actually usually better at eyeballing this than actually putting this on. All right, painter's tape is on. And that's gonna give us our straight up and down. That's gonna be our starting point for both instant transfers, okay? That's pretty good. This one might actually work. I feel like, I feel a solid chance this is gonna work. Okay, that's your cheat sheet. Okay, so this is where I'm going to line up my instant transfer on this, okay? So remember, you have a little bit of plastic extra on each edge around it, okay? So that keep that in mind. Don't, don't go along the edge of the plastic. Go along the actual edge of the decal. So we're going to separate this, the back from the front. So when you separate the back from the front, the back of the instant transfer is going to be white, okay? So what I'm saying is don't peel this completely away. Only reveal, only expose about a half an inch. Because if you peel this whole thing, you don't want to touch your fingers back here. How are you going to keep it up in the air so it doesn't hit your towel and hit your table and stick to your leg or stick to your fingers without touching it? Because you can't touch it. And so how are you going to control it? And it's if it slips down and taps onto any surface, that is an extremely permanent bond. If it sticks down, to your if you're focusing up here and the back falls down and hits your table and you try to peel it off your table, it's going to rip. Because the part that's on your table, that's going to stay on your table. The part that you're trying to peel up, it's going to rip right where it's stuck. So don't expose the whole thing. This is where I feel like a lot of you might get in trouble. Just expose that little bit until you get it stuck in the perfect position and exactly where you want it. 
and then slowly reveal it just like you do with your, your vinyl. Okay. I'm going to, I'm giving myself a tiny lip around the top. I'm giving myself a tiny lip around the top. The reason I do that is one, so I get a really good bond and there's no extra wear and tear of like my mouth constantly rubbing on that edge of the instant transfer or, or anything. And if you're, if we're going to epoxy over this, you actually want the epoxy to be able to hit that stainless steel. So it bonds to that stainless steel and making it more durable. All right. So we're going to just go loop, 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 loop like that. Okay. Now you can then go in and do the same thing with the green or you can wait. I'm going to go ahead and wait. What I am going to do is I'm going to peel this back just enough and trim it off. So it's out of the way, that little extra quarter of an inch. Okay. Trim that off just so it's not in the way for when you come around. Cause when you wrap this around, you don't want that quarter inch hanging over there because your next, your instant transfer will stick on and overlap that little quarter of inch. That's, that's your guide, your, your freebie extra space and you can't peel it up. So it's a big mess. So get that out of the way. Okay. Then I'm going to peel this down. I'm not going to peel it. I'm not, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to peel it down and I'm going to trim it off because that's still my guideline for the bottom one. Okay. Now we're ready to do this bottom one. I am not going to mess with the plastic cover sheet right now. I'm only going to mess with the back cover sheet. Take a squeegee. These are on our website. If you're buying a, de a de if you're buying a designer pack and you, or a decal pack, instant transfer decal pack, and you don't have one of these, grab one of these. They're like 275. Okay. So now you're going to take your instant transfer and you're going to slowly peel the backing off of it and use your squeegee to press it down. This is going to keep any air bubbles out. These go down a lot easier without air bubbles than vinyl, but they're not infallible. They will get an air bubble if you flop it down there too fast. So just push it down, pushing that backing off slow and steady. Okay. Bring it around, finish it out. Okay. Rubbing it down, putting pressure on it. That is the most important part. That's where you're getting that perfect. Also, you can save the backs of these. These work really good for making your shaker molds. Okay. Rub it down, rub it down, rub it down, rub it down, rub it down. Get that instant transfer pressed down and finished out. Okay. Then peel that instant tra the tra transfer sheet away, the top coat. Look how glossy that is. Okay. Now this is a permanent bond. You do not have to epoxy over this when you put this on a tumbler. Okay. You can, it's not going to hurt. It's just going to be just like a piece of sheet of vinyl. You don't have to seal it or anything. You can just drop onto it. But if I wanted to like glitter the butt and put some vinyl stripe, like centerpiece stripe on it with vinyl, regular vinyl, then it has to be epoxied over. But if you're doing your entire tumbler and just instant transfers like we're doing today, it does not have to be um, put under epoxy. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with the horse, this, the, the vinyl of the horses. I'm separating out the back the first like half inch. You do not want to touch the white part because that will mess up your permanent bond stick. Don't reveal this part. You don't want this sticky part flopping around and sticking to your table. If it flops, if you peel the whole backing off and you go to apply it and you're not paying, you're paying so much attention to getting it straight, the box back falls and hits your table or hits something else. Whatever that hits, it's sticking to. It ain't coming off. When you try to pull it, it's going to rip. Okay. So keep it covered until it's ready to go down. I make it all look so easy. It's because I've done this a hundred thousand times, Christy. It's repetition, repetition, repetition. And I have screwed it up on camera with you guys. I'm not infallible. All right. So I'm got, I've got, again, this one has got some space along the bottom. I'm using my guide, my tape guide, just like I did on the top. It turned out beautiful for the top. Okay. We're putting that first half inch down, applying pressure getting it stuck down real well. I'm going to lift up that carrier sheet and trim it. I've done this where I didn't trim it on a live and then it stuck down. And so I was like, see, don't do what I do. 
do what I tell you to do, not what I forget to tell you to do, what I forget to do. Can you glitter the bottom, epoxy it, then put the wrap on? Yep. You sure can. Yeah, so that's why I was saying with these instant transfers, you can have a whole bunch of ready-to-sell tumblers already finished that just don't have decals on them. And then take all these decals to like the market. And so they pick the base cup and you say, I've got a whole file. You pick what you want on it. These are permanent bonds. And they pick whatever they, you know, base color they want, whatever they want. And then boop. And with these instant transfer packs, you can just have these there and you can be literally making cups with instant transfers for people right there. Yes. And because the bottom is not going to ever come in contact with your mouth, you can actually use UV resin with a little glitter. If you want to just make a little glitter booty right here. Kind of, they do it a lot with rhinestone tumblers. They put just like a little bit of glitter and um, epoxy. You can do it with UV resin down here and cure it and be done right away. Because that's never going to come in contact with your mouth. Okay. It's never going to go in your dishwasher because these aren't supposed to, these are not, these decals are not dishwasher safe. They are permanent, but not dishwasher safe. They're just like any other, they're just like any other tumbler. Do you know that these stainless steel tumblers just completely naked are not, you, they're not dishwasher safe either. So even if you were to just get a stainless steel tumbler, you're supposed to be hand washing it. So once you add all the glitter, it's the same. You just still hand wash it. Glitter, instant transfers, blah, blah, blah. And don't soak them in hot water. All right, here we go. Same thing, just pushing it down with our um, squeegee. I was a little off on this one. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I was a little off. I, I knew it when I put the, I was, I, so I have the shakes and it was like a hairline off on the beginning, but I had already stuck it down and that hairline grows. But that's all right, because my, I told you guys, I'm, I, this one you can add. I'm contemplating putting vinyl in between because I like that vinyl stripe between to break it up. So we'll just, now yeah, we'll just end up doing that. See, I tell you, I never struck a cup. And if it doesn't come out perfect, don't stress. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. All right, so now we've got instant transfer, instant transfer, okay? Your Yeti Rambler, I don't know what a Rambler is. It's probably top rack safe. Sativa, if you actually Google it, it's probably only top rack safe. It, it's a different, it makes a difference. All right, so we have Bright Tone is safe, Karen. Um, so now I'm going to put this guy right here. Is that too busy though? No, that's perfect. All right. So now this instant transfer. Ah, the other two I did okay with. Usually, I usually struggle with these instant transfers, getting the front separated to the back. The other two I got just right away. This one's not going to be the same. All right, get my, I use this, I use a exacto knife to separate the front from the back. My big old acrylic nails don't, don't play well. All right, so I'm making sure the seams are on the same side. I'm making sure the seams are on the back. Stand up and straight because I'm not good at straight. Okay, I'm going to drop that down now just so I don't destroy the rest of my instant transfer. I'm going to cut off these corners. It's a permanent bond, but I have, there's no need to risk it. I don't need all this extra stick to just smash down on that surface of that other brand new laid instant transfer. I'm gonna let it bond for a while before I start ripping at it. Okay, so I've peeled away the kind of excess 
I've never had trouble with it, but also because I'm like, I'm careful. So I don't, I focus on getting my decal down, but not like, I want to be aware of not putting any extra stick on the surface, like on this. It's never, like I said, it's never been a problem, but better safe than sorry. A little, a little careful detail work. Oh, that's so stinking cute. Okay. And this tumbler is like 90% done. Oh yeah, the lids of tumblers are dishwasher safe. Do you also know that you need to pop the, the little slidey part and stuff off your tumbler when you wash it? Most people don't know that. It's crazy how many people don't know that. All right, beautiful. Now on the back side, we're gonna put our cactuses. If you're just jumping on, we are working with the new um, Holiday Hoedown collection it launched today. There's a decal pack one, a decal pack two. Um, there is a designer pack. Oh, the designer pack might be sold out. There was only two left about 30 minutes ago. Refresh, let's see where we're at. Uh, there's one designer pack left, which is the design, designer pack comes with the instant transfers, the molds, the rhinestones, and all the decals. There's one de designer pack left. All right. Also, if you accidentally rip an instant transfer, it is so forgiving. Just go back, push it back down, and then lay it back down. 99.9% .9 of the time, you can't see the little tear. So this one, this is where I'm saying, like, you kind of, like, just say, well, no worries. I've, I've, I've got to lay this one down. There's not, there's a lot of sticky of um, exposed, but I'm just going to be very careful. We're going to focus on the decal, not the extra sticky. And just get this decal. It doesn't have to be super rubbed down. Once we remove that transfer sheet, then I can rub it down even better. We just want to get it attached. Okay. So we just got it down. And then before this really bonds, we're just going to carefully lift away. Peel that away. Okay, then we're going to go in and give it a good, good rub down. Make sure it's really attached. Okay. Use the soft side of the squeegee so you don't scratch the decal. Just even the little tiny details, just lay them down real good. Good pressure. Make that a good permanent bond. Oh, that's adorable. I love busy cups. I'm, I love busy. Okay, so I've got a little squeak right here. Now, the way you can solve that is you can take another piece of a different pattern and put another piece layered over the top, or you can put vinyl there, or you can, like you can, like I said, you can do your glittering on the bottom with your UV resin. You can glitter in there. There's a lot of options. So if you want to be like, I, I don't want, I don't have time. I don't have time for epoxy. This tumbler just needs to be done. Then you could pick another one of the sheets of vinyl. Let's say, let's go with the, oh, I just love the black and white plaid. Let's go with, oh, you know which one is the, it's a very simple one. Let's go with this one because this is a very, um, mm, it's more like a solid color. That's why I was thinking it'd be more like a strip of vinyl. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to like that in the middle and just put a strip, a very, very thin strip around the center of the third, the third vinyl. Which one? Which vinyl? I think I'm going with the green. I think I'm gonna go with the green and red plaid. All right, so this collection is up. 
this is the rhinestones. I rhinestone this in like five minutes. This is just to show you guys the rhinestones. Don't look at how good the rhinestoning set is because there's a lot of gaps on this. I did it very fast. But this is the collection, the rhinestone collection. There's no pearls in this one. It's all rhinestones. And then I'm working with the instant transfer packs. And then there's some also molds. So you can find all the stuff under today's deals. There's nothing under today's deals. We had Spooktacular last week. So everything that's in today's deals is part of this collection. So we're kind of starting fresh today. All right, so I know I just need a little teeny bit. So I'm gonna put this down. So this is gonna basically be like my vinyl edging. Instead of doing like permanent vinyl, I'm gonna use this as like a little detailed strip around the middle, like a little belt, like a little Santa Claus belt. Okay. Get this guy. It's just going to be a little strippy-doo. strippy doo -do. Now, I know that I got to cut about this much off. I can just do this with scissors. Watch me screw this up. I'm just going to do this with my little oil slick scissors. Oh my gosh, we sold so many oil slick scissors on Spooktacular. So this is me just kind of showing you guys your option with instant transfer to have this all done all at once. Just quickly just be done with it. Oh, that's going to be, oh, that's going to be cute. It's like a little ribbon, like a package ribbon. That's even better than I thought it was going to be. I was a little nervous. That's going to come out real cute. All right. I lost, I had the edge and then I lost it. Am I going to be able to get it? Nope. Oh, I forgot to tell my husband what he had for dinner for the girls. Oh boy. Well, they're probably having sausages or mac and cheese. Can't imagine. I had a whole lasagna for him to cook, like put in the oven. The sticker of a bow. All right, so I'm gonna just make sure I get this lined up really well. Again, just that first quarter of an inch is down. I can test this just like I do all the others. Bloop, and make sure it's it can go down and it's gonna lay down. Okay, I'm going to carefully roll this around and just gently apply it. I will rub it down at the end. This is so skinny that I can apply it just like I do vinyl. This also makes it so I know that I'm gonna cover that lineup. I'm not just blindly doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of strategically going through this last little bit here. Now this last little tiny piece Get that out of the way. That I wanted to. Get, I got to get that extra out of the way. Lay this down directly onto that other one. Perfect. Okay. Remove the transfer sheet. Drop that down. Okay. And give it a good rub. Okay. And it's done. And that is how you finish a tumbler in 20 minutes. It would be, if I was just doing this by myself, I could probably have done that in 20 minutes. If I'm talking to you guys and fiddling around a lot, walking through it, showing it off. Let's see, so there's the little middle middle section, the little, the little crosshair, okay? And that's an instant transfer tumbler, okay? Now, so when you buy these packs, when you look at these wraps, don't look at these wraps as like, 
just one tumbler. You could cut and piece these, these full wraps into these two pieces. So you have things like this. Okay. And I am excessive. If this was like a tumbler that I was going to sell, would I put both of these on there? Probably not, but I know this is mine and this is going to make me happy. This will be my hot cocoa cup for the year. And I just love this one for myself. And I love this one for myself. Now I will probably put, let's do the UV resin. Let's do it. Okay. Cause I'll put the UV resin on and then I'm going to put the little instant transfers down. We'll put a little Merry Christmas. I'm going to put UV resin with a little glitter in it. And then I'm going to put Merry Christmas, the little mini Merry Christmas that comes with decal pack one on the butt. Let me get my mask on. I've got to be fully suited up to use UV resin. I mean, I've got to be fully suited up to use any resin, but especially particularly the UV resin. Oh, I might be out of, um, uh, I might not have any hard cure UV resin in here. Oh, I have soft cure. That'll be work. No, I don't want hard cure. What do I got here? Soft cure. Soft cure. I only have hard soft cure in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it with quick cure. Let's do it with quick cure then. I don't have any hard cure. UV resin. I used it all. And I didn't I did not re-up my stash and we sold out. So I won't be able to even use resin, UV resin for a while. Unless the girls had some set aside for me in there. You cringe every time I use resin? Why? Makes you nervous? Girl, I'm so protective. I, there's nothing to worry about. I've been in this for so long that I can, I can feel if my mask loses seal. And if it does, I'll be up and out of here so fast, but it doesn't. This mask, I've been wearing it for years. I have multiples of these, this mask. I love it. It's a great mask. Okay, we're gonna attempt this with Quick Cure. I just don't trust Quick Cure for this. Ah, we'll use regular epoxy. We don't need it to be done right now. It could be done tomorrow. So we're gonna use, cause I don't think Quick Cure will level enough. You're scared for me. Why are you scared for me? You're so funny. I wear nitrile gloves. Do you know that nitrile gloves, like e the even the vapors from epoxy cannot go through ni nitrile gloves? And I know this thing works because I use UV. I'm so highly allergic to UV resin that if I even take like an eighth of a breath of a, in a room with UV resin, I am in pain for a week. Oh yeah, no, but that's why I, tr I trust my gear. That's how I know this stuff is good stuff. I mean, you guys see me adjust it and I get, I get it on my face properly. And then once it's on there, I can feel that I can test it. And like, I can literally feel if I physically break the seal, it's very hard for me to physically break the seal when I, once I've got it on my face properly, like adjusted and it, the, the mask kind of like warms up as you wear it and it like sits onto your face and like moves with me when I talk. I don't work. I'm not stressed about it at all. Not stressed. If I was, we would not be doing epoxy while I'm pregnant. But I know that I'm safe. I, my, my environment is very in, uh, like controlled in here. Uh, so I just checked on the cup I've been working on, and it fish eyed. Ah! Just doing flood coat over the top of it. Blood coat it. All right, we're gonna mix. Oh, Amy, when you get this, you're gonna die. It's so comfortable. It's such a soft rubber that it just really melds to your face. All right. Come on. All right, I probably need about three grams of epoxy for the butt tear. One and a half. Half A. Oh, that was B actually. One and a half. B. 
be a is that gonna be enough? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna mix that together. Zoom is. Do I need to wash the cup first? Yeah, you always want to sand and wash your cup. Okay, scrape, still scrape the sides, even this little rubber silicone cup, scrape off my stir stick. Keep stirring. Okay. Even though I know I'm going to stick this right back in, I always clean it. I keep my workspace very clean. Uh, I'm going to grab a red glitter. I'm going to go red. Oh, red or green. I'm going to go red. I'm going to go with Eddie. Eddie is our chunky red holographic. So I'm going to go with any chunky red holographic. I just put way too much glitter in there, but that's okay. You can never have too much. I might have to get a little bit more epoxy. I'm going to mix a little bit more epoxy. I want to, I, I added so much glitter, uh, it's not flowing very, like, it, I want it to really flow and level. And I add so much glitter, it's kind of chunky and lumpy. Don't read comments while you're squeezing the tube. No, I can't feel the baby yet. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, I gotta Google when I'm gonna start actually feeling her move around. It'll be like no big deal after having three of them, just literally my, my OBGYN, when I was hospitalized, they're like, dude, your kids, we have never seen triplets as active as yours are. Mine would not stay in the same place they were constantly just jamming and pushing and shoving in there. Does anyone cover their cup in curing? Yes. Karen, that's how you can avoid any like dust particles or dog hairs or flies or gnats or little or your cat even stepping on it. Yeah, big like big sh uh, shoe bins or big uh, plastic bins, yeah. There we go. Now it's a little bit more flowy. That's, good. That's what I want. I just want to be able to push it to the edge and get a nice, like, edge. Just carefully working it in there. Okay. And then leveling it out. There's a little too much. I'm going to take it out of the middle. 
and let it self-level to the middle. So I don't want to bubble, okay? I want it to fit down inside the groove. That's why I'm taking some away. I really only needed the first portion, but I wanted it to be more flowy. Set it to the side, and you can't. You should be able to look directly sideways at it, sideways, and not see the epoxy. If you can see the epoxy, then you need to take some off. It should should it should go invisible because it should be flush with the, the bottom of the tumbler. Do we still have Let's Go Girl Ransoms? I don't know, girl. If they're not on the website, they're sold out. If you search let if you search um go search Go Girl, the 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 sometimes the apostrophes in the let's let's part gets confusing for the in website. I don't know why. But just search Go Girl. If they're not there, that means they're sold out. Okay, we're just gently torching. Okay, so now we got a little, little razzle-dazzle. Now remember, this table in here is not level, so I'm not going to leave this tumbler here. I've got to move it to the other room where the table is level. Otherwise, I'll get a warped bottom. to pat. I got all y'all's orders to pat. Let's make an angel. Oh, a Christmas angel. I'm not going to put it in her wings or her board. We can fill that in with a different color on a different day. Now, if, when you have this, you can take this and turn it upside down on something, and that epoxy will just drip onto whatever you put it on top of. And then tomorrow you can just peel it out. All right? All right, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta go back to order packing. I had fun with you guys today. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be live again. I'll see you guys. Bye, guys.